It's your boy Bitcoin Trapper. This is just a quick video showing you guys how to send Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, and any pretty much any other coin. What I'm gonna be using is two exchange. I'm gonna be using Binance.com and I'm gonna be sending to KuCoin.com. It is very simple, so pay attention. I don't want anyone to lose their money when they're sending from and to an exchange. So the website right here, I like to go to say Binance, B-I-N-A-N-C-E. And I will go where, right where it says exchange. I will click on it. And when you click on it, you just have to click on this and it will take you to the website. Same thing with KuCoin. You just go to make sure it says exchange and you just click on KuCoin and it will take you and you click on right on start trade and it will take you right to the website. And when you say you get to the, when you click on there, you get to the Binance website. This is what it should look like. So when you, when you sign in, this is going to be the home page for you. When you sign into KuCoin, this is also going to be the home page. Let's start with Binance. So I am going to go to wallet right here and I'm going to Fiat and Spot. When I click on Fiat and Spot, it's going to take me to this page right here. When you click on that, it will hide because you see that there's a lot of small amount of little amount of tokens that are not worth much. So when you click on that, it doesn't get rid of them. It just hides them because you can't really do much with them. You can't trade or anything. So you see what I have in my wallet. I have some Bitcoin, I got some Certic, and I got some Ethereum. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the Ethereum because if I send um, Bitcoin, if I send Bitcoin, it's going to take too long. And for me, Ethereum is faster when I'm sending. So I got some Ethereum 0 0.037. When you go right here, you'll see buy deposit withdrawal trade and convert what i want to do i want to withdraw it because i'm sending it and i'm going to be sending it to kucoin so when you come on this page now it's going to ask for a recipient eth address eth is ethereum address so what i will go do is i will go back to kucoin and i will go to asset and i'll go to main account when i go to main account I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to, I want to deposit because remember that I'm withdrawing and where I want to deposit it is in KuCoin. I want to deposit here, ETH. Always make sure you know the symbol or you put in just ETH and make sure it says Ethereum because sometimes you will have things like Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Frog. It's always should be ETH, ETH for Ethereum. When you click on Ethereum, it's going to show you this. It shouldn't be any different from any, uh, for anybody. Please note that the deposit address has changed. Please do not deposit to old address. Once you read and understand that, you click on I have read and fulfill understand the risk. You click on there. If you're on mobile, you could go right here and it will show you that. You can just scan that and this code right here should pop up but always make sure you double check you don't have to check the exact double code what i usually do is i check the first three and the last three if you're on or you could go right here and copy it since i'm on desktop i'm gonna go and i'm gonna copy it because remember i'm sending it to here and you can see that i don't have much ethereum in here so once i do this i copy that and i go to binance i am going to put it right in here and do not click on binance chain bnb or Binance Smart Chain BSC. Make sure you click on ETH and it's gonna give you a reminder. For the safety of your funds, please confirm again that the network you wish to use is ETH. It is ETH that, I'm, that I wanna use because that's what I'm sending. Anytime you're sending something, you gotta send ETH to another ETH address. If you're sending Bitcoin, it gotta be a Bitcoin address to another Bitcoin address. If you're sending anything whatever name it is it has to be the same name as you can see i have eth right here ETH, eth i'm sending and i'm sending to another eth ethereum address so now i go back here and it's going to ask me how much i want to send you could choose how much you want to send but for this demonstration i'm going to click max i'm going to send everything and when i do that I like to double check. Like I told you, I always check the first three and the last three. So 0x14FF. Go back and make sure it's Ethereum. 0x14FF. Okay, I'm convinced that this is correct. I'm gonna click on submit. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give you um security verification. You're withdrawing ETH, and it's gonna give you the address, and it'll tell you how much you, you will receive. 
and it gives you the fee amount of Ethereum that they will take for you to do this transaction. I'm going to send this. I'm going to click and it's going to send me a code to my email. I'm going to put the code from my email in here and I'm going to put my Google verification in here also. And when this is done, I press submit. And now when I refresh the page, it shows me that the $25 is sent. So remember from here, we sent it here and now I have $25 in Ethereum. You will get a notification and that, and that you can check that out. So that is how easy it is to send Ethereum or any other crypto to from your wallet to the exchange or the exchange to another exchange. But always remember, if you're sending Ethereum, you got to send it to another Ethereum wallet.